<laughs> Solos are always a part of any band, but specifically the municipal band. Um, some traditions form uh, often, whether it's just a section feature, maybe feature a section one day and have a soloist from that section and kind of feature the whole section as well to solos within songs and to those that come out front and play a solo in front of the entire band. We had a few more this year than we traditionally do. Um, this year we did have a French horn solo, first time in a long time we've had a French horn out in front of the band. Sean Kennedy did a great job with the Strauss. Um, another solo out in front of the group uh, featuring talent from within the group was um, a number of different clarinet solos. There was a duet between Frank and Ruth, the, the married couple. They, they played a wonderful duet on a piece that you know Ruth had arranged for the band, as well as some more of uh, Frank's traditional jovial music and clarinet solos. He and Jake Kesey both uh, combined to play Lightning Fingers, I believe it was. And then featured, that week we featured the whole clarinet section. And that was kind of an homage, obviously, to Gladys Delano, who had played in the band for over half of its time. And even down to Ashley Hall, who we brought in as a guest soloist. Um, that was one of the few times you bring in someone from outside the band. It's been done before. But that's just a tradition where you bring someone out front and then also feature that section because Ashley played the amazing Carnival of Venice. But then we brought two players from our band, John Mundy and Kathy uh, Munson out front to do the to Bugler's Holiday which is very classic and uh, a piece that's been done a lot but it just had that extra flair that night because of the guest soloists as well so it was great to feature both John and Kathy with Ashley on Bugler's Holiday and those are just kind of those key landmark events but built in I mean every 4th of July tribute concert we always have a piccolo solo on the Stars and Stripes, uh, whether it's Janet Hoykeshoven who normally plays it, or some years she's gone in July, and we have someone up pick up that piccolo instead of picking up the baton, as it were, and, and carrying it forward to always feature that. And just every section has an opportunity to really be featured, whether it be in a solo group dynamic, and it's always a great time for them.